Hello, and welcome to the second week of the Mathematics Induction Program hosted by Rygate College. My name is Simon, and in this video we're going to be supporting your task of filling out the poster on the command words, which will be very, very useful when it comes to answering mathematics exam questions. This is a comment we get an awful lot is, I don't know what the question was asking for. Now, obviously, a big part of that is the mathematics itself. But if you can understand the key words or commands, then it makes the whole process a little bit more easy to at least try and figure out what to do. So you should have this poster available to you. You can see we've already given you some answers there. You may use the result. Normally indicates a given result that you would not be normally expected to know. So something you've used either already or you are just told in the question. Typically this comes from proof where a question will say, prove this, but you can use this idea as well. Plot is a little bit to more to do with graphs. So plotting, you tend to work out specific points and put them on a graph. Now, this is not commonly done in the pure side of maths, but you may well end up doing this in statistics. Draw is to do with diagrams, and this is very, very relevant in the mechanics section that you will do later on this year. Draw accurately just means proportionally is right. You don't have to measure things, you don't have to get angles correct or sizes, but if one arrow is supposed to be bigger than another, just draw it bigger than the other. If it's supposed to be double the size, try and draw it twice as big. There's no hard and fast rule with that, it's just a case of making your own judgment. What we're going to do now is go through the remaining boxes to help you fill these in. The first one on our poster is the command word exact. Now this is very, very common, but sometimes won't be told to you. An exact answer is one where your answer is not given in rounded form. So not given in rounded form. For instance, a solution of x equals root 3 over 2 is exact. Later on, you'll find that you end up using specific numbers. Things like e, which is approximately 2.71. You'll very rarely put the, the actual answer. You'll always write it as e. Likewise with pi, very often you will just leave it as pi. Rigorous working is required, but with this A level, you often will be able to use your calculator to get this exactly. The next command word is also very, very common, and that is hence. Hence means that you must use previous working. Okay, you don't have a choice in that. You may see the phrase, hence or otherwise. This means that the best way to do it uses your previous working. or previous answer, and that's the same up here. That's typically the best way to do it, but an alternate method will also work or give you marks. Okay, you've got to be really careful if a question just says hence, 
because if you do a different way of working, you will not get any marks for it. If it says hence or otherwise, then that would be fine. The next box is show that. Now you'll find at A level that this is very, very similar to prove and verify. Broadly, they all ask you to do the same thing. Show that is the more the most common one though. And effectively you show that a given result is true. Okay, so you're given one thing, you're told what the answer is, and you need to prove how you get there. Because you are given the result, you must ensure that you show detailed working. Really try not to skip steps. Because the point of this exam question is to go through and demonstrate precisely how one thing gets to another, skipping steps leads to ambiguity in your answer. The next one is prove. Now, as I said, broadly, prove, verify, and show that are all, on the whole, doing the same thing. But prove works in a different way in that you are proving, you, pr you are providing a formal mathematical argument to demonstrate validity. So whereas a show that may be quite arbitrary or relevant to a specific question, prove tends to be a statement that you then argue and show is true. The very common one that you will learn in your A-level, and this is, in the, this is in the second year, is prove that root 2 is irrational. And quite often, that's all you're given and you need to go. Now, don't panic if you don't know what irrational means or how to do this. You will, We will teach you that. But this is the kind of difference between a proof or a formal mathematical proof and a show that question. Of the three types of proof type thing, verify is generally the easiest to do. All you are doing here is substitute given values to demonstrate proof or demonstrate the truth of a statement. Very typically, it's verify that a point that you are given lies on a curve, where you are given the equation of the curve. And all you need to do is put the coordinates, one coordinate of the point into the curve and show that it works. The next command word is sketch. Now this word tends to put a lot of students off because they associate it with graphs. Graph sketching is really, really important and a lot of students think too hard about it. Sketching is simply drawing a diagram. Doesn't need to be to scale. And you only need to show or label the key information. 
for instance, axes intercepts. So if we have a curve that looks like this, for instance, oops, we wouldn't label a scale here. That's not what sketching's about. All you do is go, okay, this will go through, for instance, one. And that would be an appropriate sketch. Starting the bottom row of these keywords, we now move to a set of three, give, state, and write down. These all broadly mean the same thing. And it means that little or no working or justification is required. Oops. So for instance, if you have a triangle, that is a right angle triangle. Oops. Oh, well, that's close enough. And you know that three and four, the question may say, write down the value of X. Well, the value of X is five, and you wouldn't need to show any working for that. It's that kind of thing. The next set of three words, find, solve, and calculate. Again, meaning all the same thing. This is the most common word in a maths exam, or the most common set of phrases. Also, potentially evaluate as well. It just means work it out. The key thing with this set of words, though, is that you generally don't need to give justification for your final answer. Sometimes as well, it's very little working and you can often you just use your calculator to do this. And this is why the Casio calculator that you have been told about by your teachers is very, very important. This next pair is linked to the previous box. Show detailed reasoning or explain. Or it might say find with detailed reasoning. And then you do an, an answer. This is still work it out. But you need to ensure that your method is detailed and complete. You need to justify answers that work or don't, or answers that are appropriate. You have to follow a logical argument. And this is very, very important. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do this anyway in maths. Logical arguments is the point. But you need to be fully showing a complete logical argument if this is the command word you are given. The last one is determine. Again, this is broadly meaning work things out. And again, you've got to justify. So you've got to show justification. for any results found. Sometimes in this justification, you will need to show working. And that's, that's all of the keywords on this poster. As you go through, you will probably find that there are more that you can add to this list that are very, very specific to the A-level maths or ones that you 
just often forget. This is not a complete list, but these are the most common ones that you are going to encounter in your two years of studying the maths A-level. Thank you for watching.